tell you what, it's been a while since I've done a video. Getting ready for Black Mouth opening next Wednesday. Old one. Made some changes since last year. I sold the Hughescraft Sportsman 180 and I new 2022 Thunderjet Luxor 210. Second, if you're wondering why I sold the Hughes, which was a 2019 model, um, like the boat, loved it. Great for single person fishing, just the right size. Nice, it's a late boat, it doesn't do too well when it gets a little choppy out there. It handles okay, but it's real uncomfortable, really tough on the kidneys. Um, wanted something that uh. Handled the chop a little bit better. Uh, there were a couple other niggly little things about Hughes, but similar problems to all boats. It's fine. Something you don't like. But, uh, here we are. New boat. New year. Hopefully, a whole bunch of new videos. It's going to be a new year. We got Ho -ho. It's a humpy year, so we'll have pink salmon. Hopefully we'll get out and do some ling cod fishing and definitely do some halibut fishing. Then it's, another, it's always a big question with halibut. Hopefully I'll catch uh, a lot of that on video and post it to YouTube. Let's do a walk around of the boat. Okay, I'm going to start at the front. Has a large door. So I'm going to unclip this and we'll look outside. There's a storage box. Um, probably going to put the anchor and the anchor rope in there. It does have a drain, so it will drain, um, but it's not flat bottom, so. Uh, the area in the front is a lot smaller than the use. The cab is a lot further forward. Nice thing about that is it gives you more room in the back. So uh, I've still got to put an anchor roller on the front of this one. Haven't got that done yet. But, uh, there's always something to do. So I'm going to shut that door. And we'll start on this side. So. On these boats, they put both cup holders on the port side. I guess that's okay. You have a good size glove box. Get everything in there. It's bigger than I had on the fuse. Uh, underneath, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but there is a storage shelf. Pretty good one. And you have one of those on both sides, so there's one on this starboard side as well. Um, you have Large windows on both on each side. They'll open up. Got a nice grab handle right there to hold on to. Now this is the full hard top version. Um, they come in a soft top and a half hard. Well, this is the full hard top. Um, you've got a nice storage here. I got all my safety gear in that one, and then you have. In floor storage, lots of storage on this boat. It's that one, and in there I've got my uh, pot puller. And now, the seats, suspension seats on both sides. That's really nice. I stayed with the Lawrence for the fish finder, but I went up to the uh, nine inch. It has the NEMA 2000 hookup to the engines, so I get all my engine data on here. I've got the standard uh, RPM Suzuki uh, gauge. It's all pre-wired with circuit breakers on both sides, and you have a bunch of accessory pre-wired circuit breakers that you can use you got the fuel gauge this model comes with electric trim tabs i really like those really help balance the boat and it has hydraulic steering 
and it is adjustable up and down. Uh, let's see what else. I've got the two controls, so I've got the main engine, which is a Suzuki 175, and the kicker, which is also a Suzuki, and it's a 9.9. .9. I like the Yamahas. I gotta say, I think the Suzukis are even better. They are quieter and they're more fuel efficient. They're cheaper. Um, but they run so far really, really well. I gotta say, I've got the Lawrence, lower, uh, Lawrence radio. And that's it for the front. In the back of the cabin, what's nice is storage trays on both sides. They come in handy for all kinds of stuff. Put your rags and stuff up there, scissors and knives. You've got up in the middle here, you've got good grab handles. And what I really like, double LED strip lights. They provide a lot of light in here. Full curtain in the back, which you can roll up out of the way when you're fishing, which is typically what I do. I like to be able to see what's back there, which is why I like the curtain over the hard bulkhead. Um, bench seats. Now, these bench seats, they have cup holders, two on each side, but those cup holders are only big enough to hold cans. They won't actually hold a cup. This one, I got all my fishing gear. And on this side, Comes with a porta potty, and that does have a it hasn't needed to be used yet, which is nice. But it's nice to have it, especially when you've got ladies on the boat. And it comes with a full privacy curtain that you can install, so that they're a little bit more comfortable using it. Uh, I won't set it up, but this comes with the rails to go across the gap, and it will open up into a bed. And that's actually a pretty good sized bed if, if you decide you want to spend the night on your boat. Okay, so in the back of the boat, there's a lot of room back here. Yeah. I'll have no trouble with all my shrimp pots, crab pots, and fishing gear, coolers. Plenty of room. That's I really like this. It's a very wide beam boat. If I start at the front here. It's got a net holder on both sides, and it's got a triple rod holder on each side. In the back, you've got another very bright LED uh, light for the back. You've got the antenna for the radio, which is folded down right now. There's the net holder and the rod holders on that side. Um, Carpeted under the gunnels. This is a thin carpet. It actually dries very easily. I pressure wash it if it gets dirty. And it really helps with the sound deadening that you get with uh, aluminum boats. Uh, more cup holders. So you've got a cup holder on each side. One there, one over there. You've got these handy little trays, which are handy for your downrigger balls, knives, pliers. I put my uh, scent in one of them. In the back, you've got a, open this, you've got a good size fish box. Can be modified. This one hasn't been set up as a live well, but you can modify it relatively easy for a, a live well if you need to. That might be one of my projects in the future. Got knife and plier storage right there. You've got the downrigger mounts on both sides. Uh, I should mention you've got uh, just there. You've got the wash down hookup. Got the hose put away right now for winter. And let's see. You've got more storage in the back. So you've got another storage right here. You've got a bunch of stuff in there. Probably need to take it out and dry it out. Um, in the back, you've got three access hatches. This one gets you to your cutoff switch, your bilge pump, your fuel filter, and then the other two, there's a battery behind each one of those. And 
let's see. One thing you might have noticed, I've done away with the buckets for the rope for the shrimp pots. These spools hold 800 feet of rope. So I've got two shrimp pots worth on each spool. Um, I've got them here just for now. <laughs> They'll be in the garage later when I'm not needing them. And that'll, that'll mount on here and then you just wind it up. Let's see, anything else? I think that's it for the back. I'm gonna get off the boat and we'll do a walk around the outside. Okay, before I start on the outside, what I forgot to mention was this has a 80 gallon fuel tank in it. It's an upgraded tank on this model. Um, comes with a few tank options. Uh, when I installed the transducer for the fish finder, I went up and over the step and in the back there. I do not like drilling holes below the waterline, so that's perfectly acceptable for me to be right there. Uh, on the back, you have a step. I believe this model does come with a transom door if you go that route. Uh, you got a grab handle here. You've got a pretty good boarding step on the back here. Uh, I forget what it's rated. It's rated pretty good and comes with a lifetime warranty. Underneath here, there's the electric uh, trim tabs. I like them a lot. And I've got the Suzuki. This is the 175 with a stainless prop. And then I've got a 9.9 .9 with just the standard prop on there. Now, as you can see, the bottom of the uh, Offshore bracket, it's all one piece with the hull of the boat. This uh, plate right there is all one piece all the way up. Very nice. Fuel is on the back side. I kind of like them when they're on the top, but this one is right there. What I like is these rub rails. They're, um, they got a pretty good size to them. They're pretty solid. They go all the way up to the front. They don't stop halfway like some boats do. You have a really good reverse chine. It's like a five inch deep reverse chine here. It goes all the way up to the front. It's a, it's a solid boat. It's well made. If you see me out on the water, flag me down, say hi. I did get the name on Rhapsody 2. Oh, channel will be Rhapsody Fishing. We're going to keep that. Come up the front. Uh, originally, this boat was on a trailer with a swing tongue. Um, I don't like them, so I had them put it on a non-swing. I have no need for a swing tongue, so I don't want it. Individual preference on that one, I guess. Come around this side. Pretty much it, it does have door wipers, which is nice, and so I like the lines of this boat, it just looks really nice. Now this boat was a in stock at the dealership model, so I had to take it with the options that it came with, and I, I was okay with that, it had what I wanted. Um, this is the full paint, so all three sections are painted. You can get it with one or two, or like this one, the three. Um, like I said, it comes with a full hard top, a half hard top, or a soft top. And there's all other kinds of options that you can settle on. Uh, but this one works for me. Dual axle trailer. Shouldn't have any trouble with this one. Does have the oil hubs. I'm not a, a lover of those, but I'll keep those. And nice size offshore bracket. I think we're going to have a lot of fun in this boat this year. Anyway. That's pretty.